Hey, it's Aaron, and today I'm here with a 2024 Hyundai Kona. Uh, these are brand new this year. Uh, I did a short review of a first drive impression with this late last year uh, when I drove them in North Carolina. Now I've driven it for a full week, so I've had a lot more time with it. Um, this in particular is the 1.6 liter turbo model. Uh, there is a two liter uh, standard model, that's the base the first two trims have that. The second two trims, the N-Line and Limited, have this engine. Um, much prefer this engine, of course, but the two liter actually wasn't bad. I drove that in North Carolina and it wasn't terrible. It's just not in a big hurry, um, but it still feels good enough for the car. This is a lot better, 191 horsepower. If that sounds kind of familiar, uh, that's because the same amount of power is being produced in other Hyundai vehicles. Uh, but as far as I know, this is the only one with a 1.6 turbo right now. I think it debuted with this car. Could be wrong on that, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm not. Uh, and then, you know, you can troll me in the comments. So anyway, uh, wonderful setup. The engine and transmission are a very good match. And then the size of the car with the interior, also a uh, nice match. Plenty of room in there, even for somebody like me at six foot three and way over 200 pounds, uh, fit just fine in there. So yeah, let's do the quick walk around like we usually do. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show you some design elements and then we'll talk about the interior and wrap it all up. Design is pretty straightforward Hyundai plus a pretty straight up kind of small SUV. Uh, so the small SUV shape is pretty much the same on every vehicle of this class that you see that doesn't change a whole lot. What changes are details. So with Hyundai, they like lots of lines. So you can see kind of the arrow pointing forward and the one going back, kind of a yin yang looking uh, design there. It's, it's a Z is what Hyundai points it out as. Uh, so you can see the Z shape, uh, but I see it as two arrows opposing each other. And then you can see very sharp coming from here to here and also very sharp from here to here with this fat, fat belt line that gets fatter as it goes back. All of that creates forward movement. That's the whole point. Every vehicle needs to have that. Then you can see what they did with this cladding over both of the rear plus down there is they gave it a two-tone look without having to paint it as two-tone, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and then it goes with the black roof up there and the black roof rails that you can see from there. Those are functional roof rails. You have to buy the crossbars, but there are spots these pop out and it goes, they fit across there. So overall a nice look. I really love the wheels. I love the look of the car all the way around. Um, it's just really well done. Nice lines, nice, nice body movement, it just looks good. So in a way the back is contrasting what's happening on the sides. It's smooth, simple, not a whole lot of lines. Uh, this light runs all the way across. That's a new Hyundai look. You're gonna see that on all the Hyundai vehicles. And then just the overall look and interior, where's the button? There we go. So you can see when the hatch opens here, really big cargo space for the size of the car. I can reach the back, but I have to, I have to lean in to do it. So uh, you, you have some tie downs in each corner. They're kind of flimsy and little. I don't know that you're gonna be carrying stuff in here that you really need to be tying down. This has a 130 pound weight limit, by the way. And then you have some grocery hooks on the corners and space underneath. So this does not come with a spare tire by default. You have to add that. Uh, but there's, without a spare tire, leaves this big space to put things in. Um, with a spare tire, that of course would be gone. Let's go look at the interior. I just very quickly wanted to show you the back seat. I have tons of headroom. I have a couple of inches left. My knees are fine with this seat set for me at my, my height, six foot three. Still tons of room there. My feet go underneath. Uh, just a roomy back seat, surprisingly so given the size of the car. A couple of USB ports back here, some vents back here, which is a big deal. Uh, small cars like this, they often don't do that. And so you end up with a hot back seat and a cold front seat. This, this has venting back here to keep that from happening. Just nicely done. I'm surprised at how big it is in here. Up here in the front seat, I have a lot of room. Um, I'm amazed because, uh, you know, of even a really tall person could sit up here. That's a, that's two and a half inches of space between my head and the top. And that's with the sunroof in here. So 
really nice in here. I did a full interior walkthrough, so I won't do a, I won't talk a lot about this interior. Just get the gist that it is nicely done. I have a couple of beefs, a couple of little ergonomic things that annoy me with the stereo and the and the shifter knob down here and stuff, but overall nice interior. All right, there you have it. Uh 2024 Hyundai Kona. So there is a uh electric version, I believe a plug-in hybrid version, and a regular hybrid version, um, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the lineup. It may just be the electric one and the plug-in hybrid, but either way, it doesn't matter. Um, there are more than just the gas engine options. Uh, the other ones are coming out right now or have started to come out, and uh, overall, every one I've driven has been really good. We did a road trip in this since I did a lot of stop and go driving uh, on the uh, first impression drive of this. I decided this would be perfect for a road trip that we wanted to do. It was about 150 miles round trip and uh, this did great. Uh, nice and comfortable. Pickup is really good. It drove, drove well for a small and low priced car like this compared to the rest of the market. This is super comfortable. I was really surprised and happy uh, that they did such a good job on this. So kind of sets a new benchmark, I think, for a lot of the vehicles in this category. So anyway, um, yeah, overall, really like this car. Uh, a couple of beefs I have with it, but for the most part, really liked it. So there you go. That's it. This has been Aaron, 2024 Hyundai Kona. Talk to you again soon.